welcome everyone to Let's Play Tales of Graces F. I love the Tales series. This is Fenrir's Dark Seal. Um, with me also is Nintendo Unique. Uh, she will be joining me as this is multiplayer. She will not always be playing, but she will occasionally be here just for commentary sake. It all depends on her mood, I guess. But yes, this is the most recent of the Tales series. Um, it was released just this year. Like, two days before my birthday. He. And I love this game. It is controversial because it changes so much in the series from the way the fighting usually takes place. But I personally don't think it matters because I love this game. Oh no! Not again. <laughs> Onward! Um, this game starts off a little awkwardly, but new game! Let's see what we got here. Yes. Choose your settings before starting the game. I will. The options menu is where you can tweak the game options such as volume and message settings. Battle difficulty allows you to change how hard the game is. If things are going poorly, don't be afraid to lower the difficulty level until you get more comfortable with the overall game mechanics. It's on normal and we're keeping it that way. Actually, fast. Auto text advance, off for the sake of it. Battle. You have easy, normal, moderate, and hard. We've played this game a lot, and this is the standard, and this is a little bit better, and this is hard. Now, there's different things involved with the difficulty if you read. The standard difficulty level, recommended for first time players, but if you go up to moderate, a slight step up in challenge from normal. Item drops have better qualities. And on hard, for skilled players who want more from battle, higher combo hit strings yield better bonuses. Um, we're not a very coordinated team. We do randomly kick out really awesome moves, but we're going to be playing on normal because I do not like punishment. And if you beat the game and go to New Game Plus and unlock something in the grade shop, you get unknown mode, which is just, just get the fuck out of here hard. So, uh, yeah. Battle camera, um, let's do it on party. Focus the camera on the party and any targeted enemies. That sounds good. Vibration, subtitles, music, na 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 defaults. No defaults. Confirm. Yes. Settings can be adjusted at any time in the options menu. Yes, they can. And they kind of just throw us right in. Meet our hero. As a kid. I was gonna say, what? You're really going up there? Of course. And uh, clearly he's adventurous while the little blue haired boy is. All year round. Don't you want to see him? Well, he's a coward. Come on, it'll be an adventure. Yeah, what he said. Dad's gonna be really angry if he finds out. Aw, he's a daddy's boy. How many times has he told us to stay away from Lond Hill? It's dangerous! Oh boy. You think I believe a word he says? Don't worry, it's fine. Yeah, well, what what Aspel said? I'm 11 years old. I go where I want. Yeah, he's 11. <laughs> he don't take no bitch's answer for his own answer. He is 11, he is a grown man. Wait. What about Sharia? Shouldn't we invite her too? Uh, girl. No, she can sit this one out. Oh, good call, man. What? Why? He's not sexist. She's sick, Hubert. It would be hard on her. See? He was being considerate. Besides, one scaredy cat slowing me down is more than enough. Hey, now. Ha 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 That's not nice. No, but it's funny. Anyway, let's go. I want to see what's up there. He's a little adventurer. Adventure! And we are in Lont Hill. Meet our little heroes, Asbel Lont and Hubert Lont. They are brothers. And they are also children. And we are going to explain battle mechanics as soon as I go over here and grab this treasure, which has an apple gel in it. Which, as you can read, 
is a 30% healing to max HP, and we get three of them. Yes, chests sometimes give you more than just one item from them, which is nice. Very nice. Anyway, battle! This isn't a good Press idea. X to approach an enemy and attack. Use the left analog stick while attacking to switch your attacks. Land consecutive hits to create combos. And I forgot to set her up. If you have more than one player, you go to arts. You click on the character you want them to play as. The arts menu. I'm not going to go over this. Um, and you see auto and semi-auto. If you turn it on semi-auto, that character is now controlled by whichever controller slot he is in. So as Hubert is in slot 2, she can now control Hubert. Whom she is going to be controlling until we get our next character. So, as soon as you're ready. Now, it really is as simple as they said. Only, you also have the option of... We're the toughest kids in town. But we shouldn't be out in places like this. He. We also have the option of guarding. Actually, we both have sticks. Uh, my sword... Okay, Asbel is using a real sword. Only in its sheath, because he can't get it out. But Hubert is indeed using a stick. Press X to approach an enemy and attack. If you continue to press the button, you'll perform an attack combo. You can dash with left. Oh. Huh. Yeah, if you double tap, it's a quick step. You knew this. We just do it while we're guarding. Battle tips can like the one above can be viewed at any time by going into the main menu and choosing library, user's guide, and battle tips. This is the victory screen, if you had noticed already. We get to see our experience, our SP, the amount of gold we get, our max number of hits for the battle, which ours is 8, and the time it took to complete the battle. This will actually create an invisible counter called Grade. Grade can be spent at the end of the game. We never know exactly how much grade we have until we click New Game Plus. So that's new for the series. Usually you can look at your grade. Onward! Ooh, spring. Skits are short conversations that occur between your party members. To view them, press select when the skit indicator appears on screen in certain locations. You, if you enjoy viewing skits, make sure to walk all over so you can see them all. Skit time! You should try some of this spring water, Hubert. I'm not really thirsty. This water is famous. Plus, it's really good for you. So come on, have some. You'll like it. Well, all right. Oh! Oh, this is good! Aww. Wait, I thought you'd never been to Lant Hill before. Huh, I guess Frederick knew what he was talking about after all. Here, give me some of that. I want to try it. <laughs> hey, I'm not your guinea pig. But you're so cute like a guinea pig. This spring, if we click on it, we will become fully healed and the wolf is after us. Here we go! Kill! Now, take note. This is the battle screen. We couldn't really review this last time because I was too busy kicking ass. Now, you see the character's portrait, their HP, and it is the red bar to the left. And under them, or around them rather, is a blue bar with a number on it. That is our CC. Every attack we do, or dodge, or anything, takes CC. If we run out of CC, we can no longer attack. However, we can get it back by either holding still, or guarding, or just uh, quick-stepping in just the proper amount of time to dodge the attack. If you dodge it perfectly, you will get a CC bonus for your character. Your CC is actually according to your weapons. Um, right now, since our weapons are weak and feeble, feeble we don't get much CC because it's the beginning of the game. But later on, we can stack as much as 20 CC so we can combo a lot better. But, yes, onward. Ready? And just like that. Close call. Not really. And you get some bonuses. One within 15 seconds equals HP plus 15%. That doesn't mean our max HP goes up, it just means we get healed. And we didn't even get hurt in the first place, so that's perfect. High five. Anyway, before we head up the hill, there's this. A glass sphere. I actually didn't know what this was for for a while, but it turns out it's for your, um... After this section of the game, you can sell your, 
you automatically sell your glass spheres for 100 gold each. So they're actually pretty nifty. Come back here! Here we go! Press square to guard against enemy attacks. Guarding helps uh, decrease the amount of damage. Sorry, our TV is kind of blurry. Helps decrease the amount of damage received and prevents the enemy from causing you to stagger. Yeah, I probably could read it from there, couldn't I? Anyway, onward! We could also, uh, quick step to guard, which is by guarding and then holding a direction. And it's as simple as that. But remember, you cannot guard step unless you have CC. You can guard against enemy attacks! Woo! We didn't know that already! Awesome! And Hubert got his Batukas kicked. Aw, poor Hubert. Over here, before we begin, is a life bottle. Only one of them, but we're gonna use these constantly later on, so uh, be ready for that. Anyway, um, I think that'll call it for the first video. This is a save point. Saving game data, if you don't know how to do it, you shouldn't be playing. This is on my account on the PS3. Um, when I first started playing, it was on her account because I hadn't made my own on her PS3 yet. But here we are, so saving. Which might take a second. Yay, PS3. But yes, um, that pretty much calls it. Yeah, it save that system data, bitch. Next time, we will get to the top of Lont Hill, because this is the first dungeon and shit. So, this has been Fenrir! We'll see you all next time, everyone. Take care, everyone.